In this video, I'm going to talk about where do you start? Now, when you're taking your business online, I know that that can be quite overwhelming. What technology do you use? What platforms do you need? What apps can you use? Those sorts of things. I also appreciate that sometimes even my AMA videos can feel overwhelming. So if you're bunging all of these videos into a file thinking, they're there when I need them, but still procrastinating about where to get started, then this video is for you. So often I see therapists going out to a, a marketing person and they say, you should be doing Facebook ads. So you go off and do Facebook ads, but they don't really bring you in some money. So then you go to another marketing person who says, you need to be focused on your SEO. So then you go out and you start doing SEO stuff and that doesn't really bring you much money and you kind of end up with loads of things going on, going around in circles, feeling like you're not getting anywhere um, and feeling really stuck. And if that's how you feel, absolutely, I hear you. I have done it for years. Building a brilliant business is almost like um, it comes in jigsaw pieces and it's about building that picture. And sometimes you're just playing with all of those pieces to try and make something fit. And it's really frustrating and, and can cost you a lot of money and a lot of time. So in answer to your question, where do I start? That's the exact reason why I wrote the Build It Brilliant Blueprint book. Because not enough people start with the strategy. They don't sit and say, what am I building? Uh, and am I building the business that uh, allows me to work smarter and harder? Or am I being a busy fool trying to juggle all of these things, trying to do everything and not really getting anywhere? So um, I've got a copy of the book here. You can buy it on Amazon uh, or you can get a signed copy from my website at builditbrilliant.co.uk if you wanted. Um, I wrote this as a table read, so it's really, really quite, quite thin. Um, it's quite big writing. <laughs> the idea for me is the fact that you should be able to read this really quickly and then get your head around, okay, what it is that uh, you want to do and what's right for your business. Um, but I, I want it to be something that you keep coming back to because building a brilliant business, you don't think of one piece and then that's it. You kind of think, okay, I'm going to work on this piece and get that piece right. And then, oh, hang on, I'm going to go back and revisit this piece or change that piece. So it's an ever evolving thing. Um, and you can keep coming back to this. There's exercises that you can do as you go along and you can keep coming back to them again and again and again, the more and more you build your business. So what do we do? It takes you through my four-step blueprint. The first part is about the foundations it's about you because you can end up building a business that someone else wants you to build or that you don't get particularly excited by or just going out and doing what everyone else does because that's what you think you should do so the foundation stage is all about you and making sure that you can earn the amount of money that you want to earn in the hours that you've got available and that you are doing what it is that that you want to do the second part is about the market, the environment. We're looking at the customer. Um, I've really struggled over the years with defining who my customer is and whether I want to niche or not niche, whether you should, whether you shouldn't. I answer those sorts of questions in the book. And I also give you some exercises that you can do in order to help you to define who it is that you want to speak to within your business and who it is that you want to market to. The third part of the blueprint is the structure. So this is within your business. And the biggest mistake I see people making is the things that entice people into their business are just too, too time consuming and therefore doesn't allow them to then earn the amount of money that they want in the hours. So it all kind of fits together. So we want to make sure that the structure is, is simple. It's something that you creates this really clear customer journey through your business. It's something that you can do on the long term and it helps you with that whole, you know, let's work smarter, not harder. And the fourth bit is the roof. Again, something that people completely forget I have. So the roof is all about testing, piloting, um, you know, re, re, you know, diddling bits. And, and I've done this. I've, I've come up with a great idea. I've run the event once. I've got low numbers. And then I've kicked the whole thing out. It's a bad idea and never done it again. So I have been there. I have done it. So the top one is about how do we get the numbers? How do we look at our, our figures? How do we review it? How do we tweak it? How do we kind of, you know, keep coming back and, and reviewing things to make sure that we get it right? So in answer to your question, where do you start? The answer, I think, is the Build It Brilliant Blueprint book. And that will give you the strategy. Why does that work? 
it means then that when you come to choosing the technology that you're going to use, you can then say, I'm choosing this technology because it allows me to do this and this is where it fits in my structure and this is allow how it allows me to achieve this strategy that I put together. It also helps you to price because you know where in your structure it fits, who it's going for, so therefore, and how many hours you want to work. So therefore, that helps you with the pricing and it helps you with the marketing because if you're anything like me, I used to kind of splatter gun my marketing. Too many different things to too many different people and I hadn't got enough money to get traction in, in all of those different things. So it helps you to narrow that down, helps you to be laser-like focused so that you can make sure that you've got every, all those jigsaw pieces all in the right place. And then the AMA videos that you've been storing or watching or uh, you have got, you can know then which ones are relevant for you and which ones you want to watch. So you don't need to get overwhelmed by those either. Remember that my AMA is there for you. So if you are signed up to my AMA, then you can email me your questions. So don't struggle on alone uh, thinking that you have to figure it all out. Don't. I am here to help and I'm more than happy to help. So if you are signed up to my AMA and you are struggling, then, then do drop me an email and ask me questions um, and I'll help you along the way. So I hope that's helped get you started and ease that overwhelm and frustration.